All right. Um, let's go into top five hair myths. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this one, okay? Because I cannot hold my mouth on this one anymore because it drives me crazy. If your hair grows faster, if you shave it, like you shave your legs or you shave your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and people say... <laughs> It'll just make your hair grow thicker and faster. Then why don't people just shave their heads? If their hair is thin. That's a huge myth. Right? <laughs> yes. I would never <laughs> even want to <laughs> shave my head to even figure that, that myth out. But it is a myth. And people say it all the time. Now, we'll say this. At growing up Middle Eastern... It was it was part of our family where when you turned two, we shaved your heads. So it didn't matter if you were a boy or girl, we shaved you got your head shaved. And I will say this, we all have thick hair. So I don't know. Maybe there is something to it. But you shaved your head? When I was two. Oh my gosh. I would I didn't have I wasn't given a choice. They just <laughs> shaved it. <laughs> but I have thick hair. So you I do can't have complain. thick hair. <laughs> okay, so that's a hair myth. So another myth, I feel like, you know, there's some clients that they're like, oh, I've heard that the more you brush your hair, the more it grows. Mm. I'm like, eh, no, I don't feel like that's. <laughs> you know what I think that's a play on? Scalp massage. Yeah. No. I mean, I, you're I brushing. You're stimulating. Stimulating the, the scalp. Yeah. 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 I, well, can, I, can I can see that. that. I can go I for can that. I can see that. If yeah. it's on the scalp. Yeah. If it's on the scalp. If you're just brushing here, mid mid shaft to ends, then it's, it's probably not, not doing, doing shit. No, it's not doing but anything. But if you're brushing around your scalp, which I did learn from the massage, um, the scalp massage therapist that was uh -huh. on last episode, um, she told us that you have to like really massage to get that blood flow going yeah and why people have hair loss is because the blood isn't flowing in that area and in, in this area so that's why scalp oh, massage is really important so if you're gonna it is if you want to do that brush technique then i would get one of those like flat no handle like the brushes shampoo brush. the shampoo brush okay. right yeah and do this little jam right here or have you ever seen one of those wire ma head massage? Yes. Because you had one, right? Sam had one. Yeah, yeah. That thing was feels nice. amazing. It does it feel amazing. So, <laughs> so maybe get one of those. Yeah. Stimulating your scalp is going to cause hair growth. Yeah. Brushing, I think, is just a, an aftermath of what that was. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was supposed to be massaging your scalp got down to just brushing your hair just the hair not the scalp right okay okay yeah um what's another hair myth uh okay this is a hair myth that clients think is a hair myth but it's actually not cutting your hair every three to four months okay so here's what's happening and i described this from my old old boss from 20 years ago told me this and something i'll never forget so Think about it if you're wearing like a pair of hose, like stockings, and if you know how you get a run in the hose, mm -hmm. and if you don't stop it, it'll just keep running all the way down. Yeah. So it's the same thing with your hair. If you have split ends after three to four months, if you don't get those trimmed off, what's going to happen is that hair is going to split all the way to the top. And that's why you have people that are like, I haven't cut my hair in three to four years and their hair looks like straggly, straggly see-through in. Yes. <laughs> and that's why. Um, do, what do you think? <laughs> um, I agree with that. I do agree with that. I don't feel like you have to get your hair cut every four weeks, mm -hmm. but yes, every so often. Four, if you're at four weeks, that hairstyle is taking you for your money. That is yeah. for sure. Yeah. You don't have to get it every four weeks. But yes, every, um, what, three-ish months? Yeah. You think? Yeah. 12 to 14 to 18 weeks yeah. is a reasonable. And when you go in, you ask for a dusting. Don't ask for a haircut because mm -hmm. you're going to cut off what you just grew oh, out. You grew. So you're going to ask for a dusting. Now, 
Get this straight. A dusting, a trim, and a haircut are all the same (laughs) price. Don't get it twisted. Please, for the love of God. Because when you go to the nail salon, well, I would compare this, but actually it might not be true. When you are like, I don't, like, I don't know. If I want my nails a certain length, it is more. Is it? Allegedly. Oh. oh. I don't know. But if I'm just getting a fill and I'm cutting a little bit, they ain't going to give me a deal. No. (laughs) No. So the thing is, you're still getting your hair washed. You're still getting it detangled. You're still getting the cut. You're still getting the blow dry. You're st- everything time wise is the freaking the same. same. Yes. So the price is the same. So these people that are coming in like, I just want a dusting. What? I didn't understand why it's this much. <laughs> well, you're getting everything else. You're getting the wash, the style, the cut, the expertise. So yeah, it's the same price. Yeah. Period. It's a huge, de- a huge fight in the hair industry. <laughs> yeah, it's something that I don't think like people still don't wrap their head around. It's like people we still understand. get phone calls about it. Hey, how much is um? I just need a trim. It's like, girl, it don't matter. It's you're getting a trim. You're getting a haircut. Price. It's the same damn thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because you're getting. The luxury, the luxury service with yeah, it. it's no. not cutting down my time, my friend. No, no, you, I don't give it's a the crap. Same time, you, you cut this much, you cut this much. <laughs> you, <laughs> it's the same. Yes. Okay, I think we solved that problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many myths are we at? Three, three. Um. Okay. Oh, like, sun in. Let's talk about uh, sun in. Lord. Okay. We're going to wrap this up with sun in because that has been my nemesis for over 20 years. Sun in is a product that you can buy at the grocery store. They have them at the beach stores. It's it's hydrogen peroxide. Okay. You're going to spray it in your hair. You can go sit outside in the sun. You can blow dry your hair. And yes, you'll get some sort of highlight. If you're brunette, it will be ugly as shit it'll and it'll orange. be it'll be orangey red. <laughs> if you're blonde like Ashley, it actually might work out for her. However, however, if you want to bleach it later, it can end up gummy as hell, okay? Because it, bleach, hair bleach and sun in do not mix together. The other thing and I've seen it. Cl- Ashley, I had a client like you Long, 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 blonde, blonde, blonde hair, brown, brown roots, so darker than you. Mm-hmm. All she had ever done was sun in. What? Yeah, all she had ever done was sun in. And she wow. actually was a client. She was living in Europe, saw my videos, and came to Tone. Wow. Okay. Her hair was so straggly and hard uh. to brush through. It's super tangly. So this is not like, let's bash sun in. I'm just, I'm giving you the pros and cons. If you're already blonde and you want a little bit of sun-kissed highlights, do it, but do it once. You keep doing sun in, your hair will be extremely tangly. It will be dry as fuck and you don't know why. And there's nothing that can help you at that point, okay? Because it's basically like putting bleach in your hair constantly. And then if a stylist doesn't know that you have sun in in your hair, which by the way, doesn't just come out, it grows out. So whatever you did ain't leaving until it's completely off your head. So if you had done something two years ago and you have it on your ends still and a hairstylist goes in and bleaches your hair, Odds are the ends will melt and you're going to be pissed at the hairstylist, which yeah. that's not fair. No, it's not fair. Especially, that's not fair. Yeah. Especially if fair. hairstylist isn't told. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the thing is, and I will say this to protect the client, it's not the client's fault. It's never the client's fault. And I respect it and I honor that. It's the hairstylist's fault if they don't play detective and do the research and figure out what happened because i can tell you right now looking at a client i can see sun in from a mile away i can see it even though it didn't do anything to the hair i can feel it i can feel like box color or perm Mm -hmm. you know i can feel it in their hair 
And that's where it's the responsibility of the stylist, because I don't I honestly and truly wholeheartedly do not believe that clients are lying. No, they just don't know. They just don't know. They just don't know. They don't know. And I don't blame them because before we went to hair school, we didn't know either. Well, we would think like, oh, it's been a year. Like, yeah, like it's out. Yeah. No, no, it's Mm -mm. not. It's still there. It stays. (laughs) All right. What other what other myth we got? Mm, I don't know if this is like a myth. Okay, actually, it kind of is. It kind of, this like tweeters between things. I have had, I put out a post actually about um, a sun in test strand, right? Mm -hmm. And then I put bleach on the hair and I let it sit for an hour. It's a test strand sitting for an hour. The comments that I got was like, oh my God, you never let bleach sit for over an hour. And I'm like, honey, what are you talking about? Like, let's say somebody comes in and we do a foil on them. Mm-hmm. Your first foil by the time you're done is almost it's an almost hour. Almost an hour. Yes. So these people that are coming at me with, oh my God, you're an idiot. Like, why would you put this on for longer than an hour? First off, if you've ever gotten your hair highlighted, odds are that first foil has been sitting for almost an hour. Yeah. Second, I and Ashley, I don't think you believe in putting heat on clients to bump them up. No, I barely ever. We don't do no. that at Tone mm-hmm. Hair Salon because that's like throwing something in the oven at a high temperature to get it to cook faster, right? Yeah. So we believe in low and slow. So we we use low volume. And like I had my highlights sitting for almost two hours, personally, yeah. my own. But it's a low volume. So low it volume. can sit for longer. And no heat. Yes. So it should sit longer yes so and i think that's also leads me into the fact of color hair color does stop lifting at 45 minutes Mm -hmm. bleach hair bleach will keep going for a couple days if you let it sit yeah it'll keep going going. Mm -hmm. there is no stop on bleach so i want that myth to be gone y'all color hair color Lasts 45 minutes and then it stops working. Hair bleach can last days. Days. I've done experiments. Go to my TikTok page. I have experiments where I've let it sit for three freaking days. And it's or still- I've gone back to the bleach. <laughs> like I had it already mixed up, let it sit for three days and then used it. And that shit still lifted works. the hair. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. So it's still working. Yeah. Still works. <laughs> okay. So that is our top hair myths that we wanted to bust out real quick. 